Accounting's been around since Mesopotamia, like a thousand BC or more. And we've been doing taxes for millennium, okay? But we've been doing whatever financial advice is since the 70s at best. And mm. if you want to extend it back to the late 1800s, you could say whatever the guys were doing inside the insurance companies and whatever they were doing out in the communities maybe approximated the first type of advice. But we just don't have a long standing profession here with an education track and a system and a history. And so I think it's a cool time to be in the industry because we're still trying to see, are we a commodity or are we advisors or are we going to get replaced by technology? Wow. That's fun. Now this is a mm -hmm. cool uh, playground to play in when you, when it looks like about the average age is 56, um, you know, we're, we're aging. It's not getting younger. You want the average age of a professional to be like in the, their forties, like so that there's like 20 years of older and 20 years of younger occupations, but it's not, we're an older industry. So Matt, I think it's just like a fun time to have conversations about what the industry could do. That is the most valuable to me. We do not talk enough about generating income. We don't talk enough about our zone of genius. We don't talk enough about self-actualization. Um, I believe that by having those types of relationships where we, I mean, this is way out there guys, but like where we start to understand if someone's a good fit for the way they're trying to make money, like does their personality and their education, what's the next step for them as a wealth manager or wealth advisor or wealth creator or financial advisor? There is nothing you can do that is bigger than helping people feel good about their money so they can make more money, so they can generate more income, not just tell them that you have a tax tip. It's just mm -hmm. not like a big lever, not a big enough lever. Yeah.